Hi everybody, it's Amy Valentine and I'm here with Jenna Stafford and today we're doing a last minute Halloween makeup look. I have done the Angel of Death Halloween costume because it's what I went last year, I thought it looked fab. It's really easy because it's just like, just wear some gothic stuff. I Amazon primed a halo and wings, this is like a fiver. I've gone for a porcelain kind of broken doll look, kind of easy, I've just done a super glam eye, a lot of like exaggerated pinks and then just use eyeliner to do the broken cracks. It's actually a lot easier than it looks. It's all kind of makeup like that you can make work with your existing collection. Mine is obviously just black. If you don't have like a black lipstick, you could just use eyeliner. If you'd like to find out how we did these looks, just carry on watching. All right, so for my base, I used the Illamasqua Beyond Veil Primer and this is basically the Hydra Veil Primer but with the Beyond Powder Highlighter in it. So it's like very illuminating. Over the top, I use the Long Calm Taint Adol Ultra Foundation with a beauty blender. For my brows, I use the Benefit DIY Brow Bar Kit thing. Oh, there goes the brushes. So for my base, I've used the Skin Tone Foundation in 5-0, but I've actually mixed it with Cryolin Supra Color in Clown White. So to get that pale base. And then I've set that with Cryolin Anti Shine Powder. I'm doing like a really black smoky eye. So I'm gonna do Meet Matte Nude Palette Matte Abdul. So for my eye, I'm gonna start with the Meteor Storm Barry M Palette. And we're gonna use some of the paler pinky colors. Also, I'm gonna be using the Morph Palette. Is there, there's no sticker on it? 12P. Is that the name? We don't know what it's called. We'll put it in the description. Okay, so I'm we're gonna be that. using this palette also. High pigment colors. I don't really have a plan for this. I'm just gonna be we're winging it. I did it last year for Halloween. The idea with the smoky eye is apparently you go in with a transition shade first and then blend it out and then you put the black in last. I didn't know this. <laughs> oh, there's red on this brush. No. Always clean your brushes. Every I'm not good time. at this. Don't be lazy. With, I assume you come with like all clean brushes as well. Always. I'm not like this. This is why I can't have nice things. <laughs> yeah, you must have to wash brushes so much. Yeah, like God. every Ew. shoot at the end of the day. Like I'm doing a 12 hour shoot. I don't remember the last time I washed my brushes. <laughs> it affects how your makeup goes on though. For I sure. know. Okay, now I'm gonna use a slightly dark shade called Matte Hung. I'm now gonna use this one here, just on the crease. What brush is best to like pat color? A dense fluffy brush. Yeah, yeah. something that's flat but also a lot of bristles. Make sure it packs on the pigment. I have a Kat Von D brush that might work. Oh. This is a good brush. This is a really good brush. I'm just blending out that crease now. I'm using the black from the Morphe palette. And I'm just going to use this colour again. And I'm going to bring it around under the eye. So we've got a ragdoll kind of look. You've done so much more than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to like doing it really quick on set. They're like, you've got to have it ready in like half an hour. Now I'm going to use the pink for the eye crease. I'm starting to bring it slightly underneath here. I'm going to use now the Mermaid Salon Sparkle Factory Deluxe Palette. This is amazing. They're all glittered. I'm going to use the pink one. And I'm going to pop it in the middle. I'm going to start to blend this out with a fluffy brush. Lightly tapping this on. The good thing about this palette is it's like a kind of a creamy gel base. So you don't need to use something with it to stick it on. I have got a flat brush just to pat the colour on the underneath of my eye. I just want to make this crease a bit more prominent so I'm going to go with a darker colour and a really small rounded brush just to get into the crease. I'm taking it pretty far underneath. I mean to be fair this is something I probably would wear like <laughs> out. It's just a subtle day. It's just subtle, yeah. It's just like a really, really chill quick one. Right now I'm going to try out this Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I got this literally the other day and it's gorgeous. I think I'm going to use this sparkly black shade just on the lid with the Kat Von D eyeshadow brush. So I'm now using the Maybelline Master Ink black eyeliner. It's super thin and precise. I'm just like patting on the colour rather than like dragging it and then you blend it out afterwards. I've done the wings fairly small for me anyway. Usually I have them up the side yeah. of my face but I want to make sure the eyes look as big as possible. We're going to do that using white eyeliner next. I'm going to be using another Barium product just a white curl pencil. On your waterline, the white is gonna make your eyes look bigger. And I'm also gonna bring it under the eye as well. I thought this video was like, Joan doesn't make up looking any blends. Just <laughs> <laughs> blend forever. I got this eyeshadow from Tlamasca the other day. It's called Cascade. I'm gonna use this just on the brow bone. A very, very, very light gray. What oh, is it, pearlescent? Hell yeah. <gasps> Wow. Ooh. I do this thing with my tongue when I concentrate. I'm like, like, mm. it's like lizard tongue. I'm gonna use Kiko Makeup Milano Volume Eyes Active Mascara. I'm gonna That's really load the mascara on the bottom. Oh God, why does every brush have fucking red on it? 
Now I'm gonna clean up the eyes a bit. I think we need concealer. Got this cool makeup bag from Skidit. So I'm just using the Lasting Perfection Concealer by Collection. This is the best concealer ever. So I've done it in like a triangle. Kitchen I had some of these mini beauty blenders in it. Let me do some strobing. Barry M Illuminator Strobe Cream on the cheekbones, on the head. Just kind of to kind of get a pearlescent porcelain look. I'm literally so illuminated right now. <laughs> so I kind of dragged out eyeshadow a bit so that it's a more of a point. It's really good to put a little bit of highlighter on your cupid's bow as well. Your lips look a bit fuller. So you can kiss all the boys. <laughs> so now we're gonna do the cracks on the face. Once again, I'm gonna use the Precision Ink Eyeliner. I'm gonna do my cat's eyes and then I'm gonna start with this spike thing. It doesn't look like I've done anything in so long. You can kind of see how it fades out. Easy. Excuse you. I'm trying to learn where to stop with this. <laughs> That's probably enough for the forehead. Wow. I'm going to be using the black Kat Von D shimmery one for this, the spikes. I feel like I'm making a really weird look. I'm <laughs> like. <laughs> so I'm now going to use the grey from the Meat Matte Nude palette from the Balm Cosme Cosmetics just to kind of shade underneath the black to kind of give it a bit more depth. I'm gonna do the lashes now. Isla number 117. Put my lashes are on. I'm gonna go in with the concealer and just tidy up the lines a bit. Just gonna put it on the brush. I'm gonna do lips next. Using the Clown White I'm just gonna block out the lips because we're gonna do a thinner doll kind of look. I'm gonna put some glitter on my eyes from the Mermaid Salon palette. There's lots of nice colours, I'm just gonna use the black. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner in Love, it's about L-U-V. I'm gonna get the shape of the lip. I'm gonna line my waterline as well, with just a black eyeliner. Super exaggerating the cupid's bow. Oh, it's a heart shape on the top lip. I'm bringing the bottom liner well below my lip line. <laughs> Looks like a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna use the black, the glitter one, just to make the eyes a bit more exciting. So I'm now using on lips Kat Von D Glimmer Veil Liquid Lipstick, and I'm gonna use a purple and a pink. They're super glittery as well. Cool, so I've done the purple just on the outline, mm -hmm. like with the lip liner, and I'm gonna go in with the pink in the middle. I'm adding some glitter to my spikes now, because I felt like it. It's kind of like using the glitter to like blur the line a bit. It's easier to kind of have it not so perfect. I'm actually nearly done, so I'm just gonna, I'll do my mascara and my lips. I will be using the, the Balm Mascara, it's called What's Your Type? And just the Lime Crime Black Velvet Lipstick. This looks ridiculous, I look like a chiller. <laughs> so I've just uh, lined my lips with the uh, Supercat Skinny Liner because black lipstick is so unforgiving. I'm just gonna fill it in with black velvet. I will be using the um, Illamasqua Deity Highlighter. This is really good for pale complexions, it's like white but with like a greeny kind of undertone and I'm just gonna go pretty ham on this. Should have done this before the spikes but you know it's too late now. So because mine's like pretty dark I used a black Tom Tool last year. Zoeva 128 Cream Cheek put a tiny bit on. Blend it. Oh well. Fuck. <laughs> on camera it looks so much darker than in real life. <laughs> okay and now we're gonna use the Mark Hill Curlers. Oh, I just curled mine and I'm gonna like bring it up like really really messy. And I just curled mine and then brushed it out, zhuzhed it once again like with fingers or with a brush. And then I've done a little wrap around with a piece of hair and gripped it. I'm wearing my little, my little halo I got from uh, Amazon. If it's like super last minute, I this is what I did last year. I literally just Amazon primed the halo and these wings. <laughs> <laughs> but that is how we do the looks. I actually really enjoy this. Your little so, halo. Yeah. I know. <laughs> my halo, <laughs> halo. <laughs> So that is our two Halloween looks. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching the video of Gem doing makeup and me blending. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow her, she is on Instagram at Gem Go give her a follow, she's brilliant. Um, and we'll see you in my next one. Bye.